so hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your favorite girl Amory as we could tell as you've seen in the title I am doing a review type of ordeal so don't mind my hair or none of that because this is going to be a two-part type of video so go ahead if you haven't already just go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification turn your notification to all post so you won't miss part two of this video so like i was saying we're doing a review and i don't know if you guys heard of it but i haven't heard of it if y'all hear my son in the background or the tv i'm in a bathroom not good lighting but we're gonna do what we could do and i'm gonna try to edit and fix it up and all this stuff later so i haven't heard anybody talk about um this product called glee i found them at walmart the other day when me and my wife went to walmart y'all we bought an at-home wax kit i was gonna record it but y'all that went all the way wrong okay <laughs> it went all the way wrong so we're gonna just skip on past even trying to do that and we're gonna talk about this glee product so it says meet the glee refreshingly simple so this is the facial hair remover and you guys know that normally when i remove my facial hair it is with my nair facial hair and it's the little bitty bottle i think i uh it should be in my empties video one of them empty videos so y'all know i normally use that but i haven't been able to find it lately so when i came across this right here i was like you know what i never heard of it so we're gonna do a review we're gonna test it out and we're gonna you know see what it's all about okay Okay, so the Glee hair removal cream. In this box, you're gonna get two hair removal creams. And honestly, you guys, this is supposed to be seriously simple and easy. It says a hair removal cream that works hard so you don't have to. Um, you get a hair removal cream, the finishing, finishing cream, and a spatula. Supposedly, you're supposed to just like smooth this on, wait two to five minutes, Smooth it off and go on about your day. Yep. I like the fact that it came with instructions. Sorry if you guys hear my phone. Um, it came with a little bitty pamphlet. And it tells you how you're supposed to maneuver with it. So, basically, I'm about to do the damn thing. And we're going to see. And I want to know if it's better than my um near facial hair remover which i can't find nowhere else in the stores anyway so it's cool so my face is already cleaned i cleansed my face this morning when i was in the shower i didn't put no toner or i didn't exfoliate or none of that stuff i thought it may be a bad idea if i was to do that so i didn't do any of that i just cleansed my face no moisturizer no nothing this is it okay all right i'm kind of like starting and stopping y'all starting and stopping y'all y'all not gonna notice but i'm filming on this sony a5100 and y'all know how that thing like to overheat and stuff and i don't like all it so it did come with this spatula this is the lady beauty spatula it came with the facial cream remover one and two you get two of them really cute it's by the brand png i guess it says png.com y'all i will have all of the information that i find down below in the hot box i just haven't seen nobody fool with this yet and then here's the finishing cream and all of them are so cute and simple so the facial cream is 0.67 fluid ounces and then the finishing cream is 0.5 fluid ounces i know you're not supposed to get this on your eyeballs 
close to your eyelids, nose, eyebrows, anything like that. But we're just gonna, you know, do what we could do with this. I don't know if you're supposed to. Oh wow, it looks like a chapstick, uh, like a lip gloss tube. <laughs> So let me see what the other one looks like. Like I said, I'm not too nervous, but I am nervous. It says to spread an even amount onto the skin. So, and you guys know I like basically do all this area. So do you do it with, and I know y'all probably can't tell, but I do have peach fuzz, especially like around my lip. Um, but I have peach fuzz. Everybody has hair. So, you know, I have peach fuzz and stuff. So I don't know if I'm supposed to use this or use this. It just says make it a thick coat. So y'all, let's see. It kind of smells like Nair. Let's do a thick layer. So, and you're supposed to be able to, you know, do this to your face and be done. Like, go on about your day. So, maybe that's a thick enough layer. I'm gonna take this. You know what I'm gonna take? I'm gonna take my e.l.f. tool. I use this for all my masks, so I'm just going to take this and spread it out because I feel like the spatula may be a little bit too little for what we're trying to do, but, oh yeah, this is strong. It smells really strong. But we're going to use that spatula um, in a minute. I try to keep all of near and everything away from my piercing holes so that it won't seep off into